In this video, you will learn how to create a pie chart in PowerPoint. The beautiful pie chart you will learn to create today looks like this. A variation of the pie chart which is also called as donut chart looks like this and I'll show you how to make a donut chart once you've done a pie chart. Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Now you can get a free sneak peek into Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. The details are in the description box below this video. Typically a pie chart is used to show percentage composition. You can get a quick glance of the various players in the market and where you stand compared to others and what percentage of share that you occupy compared to others etc. Let us see how to create a pie chart from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to the insert tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to the illustrations group, go to chart and the chart type that I'm going to use is this one called as pie and I'm going to say OK. Now we have a worksheet that opens along with the chart and this has sample data and we can always replace the sample data with our own data. So I'm going to do the replacement quickly and then let us get back to how to make this chart look a little better. And yes, I have replaced the sample data with my own data and here it shows our performance compared to four other competitors and the values are shown in this right hand side and I have given the header as sales and I'm going to close this particular uh, worksheet and as I mentioned in my earlier videos if you want to see more of the sales you just need to move your cursor to the bottom right corner of this worksheet and you can click and drag so you can see more of the data. And if you want to add more category names, you can always add here and then populate with corresponding values and the selection will automatically include those as well. Now let me close this worksheet and now we have the chart here. I typically prefer to have my chart title as my slide title. So I'm going to select this chart title and I'm going to press delete so I don't have the chart title there. I'm going to resize this by holding the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner. As I reduce the size, you can see that the chart is now of a much better size. The next thing is as I resized this chart, you can see that the font is not very easy for people to read. So I'm going to click on the bounding box outside and then I'm going to go to home tab and I'm going to increase the font size so that it's much easier for the audience to read. And this is how a typical pie chart looks. Now, there are a few things that we can do to make this chart a little more easy to understand for the audience. The first one is by adding data labels. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to select the chart here. And then you can go to the option here called plus, which is about the chart elements. And here you see that there is this option called data labels. You can click on the small arrow here to expand where exactly you want the data labels to be. I'm not really going to go into all those elements. I'm just going to say tick and here my data values are populated. Then I'm going to click on this once again so that I don't have that uh, flyout menu. And this is now a much better chart because the values are very clearly shown. And the next thing is to make this data labels easier for the audience to read. Sometimes there may not be sufficient contrast between the font color and the background color. In this case, you can see that the background color is dark blue and the font color is black. So it is not very easy for the audience to read this value. So I'm going to click on that data label. On the first click, all the data labels are selected. Then I click on the same data label once more and that selects only that specific data label. I can go to the font group here in home tab and then change it to say white and now it is much easier for the audience to read. And now this chart is a little better. Then I want to show my performance a lot significantly compared to the others. So I'm going to first select this segment alone. Now you can see that the entire pie chart is selected. Then when I select this particular segment alone, you see that when I click on it, only this segment is selected. I'm going to go to shape fill and choose maybe black color, which clearly stands out from the rest of the colors. 
and I'm going to do the same thing for the data label as well. On the first click, all the data labels are selected. Then I click on the specific data label and make it white. And now this chart is way better than what we have started out with. The next thing we are going to do is to make this chart into a donut chart. A donut chart is considered as visually more interesting than a typical pie chart and it is very easy for you to convert your pie chart into a donut chart. After all, it is another chart type of the same category. So I'm going to select the chart here and then go to the design tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Go to change chart type option and here you see that we have donut chart available here and you click on the donut chart and you say OK and instantly your pie chart is converted into a donut chart. Now you see that these kind of charts are used in infographics, in financial magazines, in newspapers, etc. And this is preferred visually over a typical pie chart. So that is how you create a pie chart or a donut chart from scratch in PowerPoint. Hey, are you looking for an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online? Do you want to learn how to create beautiful picture slides like this, chart slides like this, infographics like this, 3D graphics like this, or in general beautiful slides like this, this, or this? Then please join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. It is arguably the most comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training online. You get instant access to more than 650 step-by-step -step video tutorials, more than 225 text-based lessons, and more than 400 downloadable files the moment you join Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Membership Program. You can sign up for a free sneak peek into the program right away. Please click here to watch a few of the premium videos from the program for free right now. I'll see you inside the program.